gorgeous. <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, last year I filmed a video about my Trek Stash 7. Um, and in that video I mentioned a lot of upgrades that I wanted to do. I said I'd check in this year. Well, it's been a full year, um, full year and a half actually, so let's check in. I'm going to talk about the upgrades I've done to my Trek Stash. Right now I'm in the middle of one of my favorite trails in all of Michigan. We're on the gorgeous Dragon here, uh, right in the middle of, just off 131 in Nuego. And there's just miles and miles of gorgeous, beautiful nature. And just having a blast, about 10 miles out of 20 in. And <laughs> taking a break, <laughs> filming a video like normal people do, right? Okay, <laughs> let's talk about these upgrades. First one, you gotta have the custom top tube. This is from co-host of the podcast, Brian Davis, with the in always encouraging message of I spill things. Uh, extremely rude, but it's good when you're climbing and feeling miserable to just remember your worst trait about yourself. So thanks to my, my good buddy Brian for uh, reminding me of that at all times. Um, no, no, that's a, let's, let's, I have another aesthetic upgrade too that I'm going to get to. Check these bad boys out. I am obsessed with this. So on Etsy and eBay and a couple other sites, you can get uh, color prints of your uh, fork. So this is my same fork. I just, you know, I'm not duping anyone. That, that, was, that thought did occur to me of just like putting <laughs> a SID or something on it. Uh, but only losers would do that. Don't do that. Um, but I picked out this sweet color and I, I think it just looks so cool. Um, so I'm obsessed with this upgrade. Only about 15 bucks and makes my bike look bad ass. Um, to match, I got the same color cup holder. I might get some new grips because man, these bad boys are a do, if not overdue. I, those things are shredded. This is from day one of the bike, so it actually held up pretty well. Look at the dust that just gross. Um, so yeah, we got the cup holder, we got the sticker. Again, all aesthetic. Um, but guys, I really did not do a lot. So this video might be pretty short. Uh, one thing that you uh, definitely are noticing are these uh, bad ass tires. Um, and I know you're thinking, Larry, did you just buy those because of the gum wall? Well, yes, that's exactly why I got them because I thought they looked cool. So these are the Terravail Coronado. I literally promise you, I just bought them because I thought they looked cool, but what it turned into is some of the most fun I've had on this bike. Now, I've talked about this a lot. This came with the three inch tires and as much as I love that, it made everything nice and cushy. Uh, going down to a 2.8 here has made this thing so much more nimble and aggressive and faster. I feel faster on it and it could be in my head. It could just be, I have a couple more miles under my belt. I don't know what it is, but I love these tires. Um, very grippy too, great tread. As you see, like these are these are looking brand new almost, uh, but I've had them all season. They're great. Highly recommend the Terra Vale. Oh no! And there goes my bike, dead forever. Okay, we're good. Um, what else, what else? I'll save the big one for last. I'm trying to think, the pedals were probably already on. I got those right away, so. Um, of course, tubeless, you gotta go tubeless. Um, existing parts on here that I feel no need to upgrade. First of all, the fork is just perfect. Never had any issues. Um, I still am rocking the NX Eagle here. And yeah, let's just get to the last upgrade. So as I mentioned, my wheel had to get warrantied. Um, and that's because I was popping spokes like crazy, but I've since then made it all season and I know I'm gonna jinx myself right now without popping a spoke. And a big shout out to Rockford Bike Shop and Trek for helping me. Oh, there we go. Let's give them a little shout out there. Rockford Bike Shop, always keeping the bumper sticker on. They're the homies there. Um, but yeah, long story short, they uh, had to, um, excuse me, I can't talk warranty of the wheel and they couldn't get me the exact wheel so they actually hooked it up 
I now have a Rapid Drive 108 back here, which is double the points of engagement that I used to have, and I love it. Listen to this, ready? That's not good. <laughs> talking swarm of bees status i love this thing and it really does make a difference i can't stress that enough if you have one of these bad boys don't be afraid to to upgrade that rear, rear, rear hub sorry the boat's going by i can't even talk that bitch loud but yeah i love this rear drive um it's great especially over technical stuff it's amazing to just like put that foot down and like instantly engage and do exactly what you need to do um okay so the last thing i'll talk about and it's a trade-off when you go with these lighter it's a trade-off when you go with these smaller tires but you're gonna lose a little distance here and you're gonna get a couple more pedal strikes. That's been an issue since I owned this bike. I, if you look at my first video with this thing, day one I was hitting pedal strikes. So it's just something I've learned to live with. It's made me a better rider because I keep horizontal over it instead of trying to, I know when to pedal and when not to pedal. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna head back to the trailhead now, hopefully found this interesting love to hear if you have this bike what you think i should do a lot of people telling me to get a a different um upgrade for this thing you can get for like 40 bucks or something i don't know i don't think i need it but maybe all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you